Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 44 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. I, between episodes, spent a really, really long time waiting for auto-crafting to occur. Uh, it actually took like quite a while, but I got some good stuff done. So, let me walk you through some of the things that I worked on between episodes. And I'm purposely not looking in that direction while I'm on my third floor, because things change down there. I did stuff. Uh, so first off, want to point out that I found a better way to transfer power than the dimensional transceiver. Uh, and that is using a nifty little gadget from RF Tools. It is the power cell. I don't know exactly how much power these guys can transfer in terms of RF per tick, but power cells are neat. Um, so power cell, no space. Um, there's three versions. There's the simple, and then there's the regular, and there's the advanced. The simple one, or, or the, the, the middle tier one, is easy enough to craft for us at this tier. Prismarine shards being like the only part that's hard, and that's just, you know, quartz and a laser, so we're good. Uh, and then the power cell card, which allows different power cells in different locations to share their energy. So it basically creates a multi-block that's not connected to each other. Um, so you place a power cell in one location, you place it in a totally different location, another power cell, you can link them together with a power cell card. Um, and obviously this is an intended mechanic because like he made it a Klein flask and an extreme energy laser be the crafting recipes for the power cell card. Uh, basically you just um, put a set power cell card into this link location and then you put it in other locations and you can see this guy basically um, input output 5000 RF. Well, there you go. We have an answer to our question. Sweet. Um, so yeah, I, I set up my solar panel tier two here in the eternal day age, which is great. Um, and we've got uh, our power cell transferring roughly 4000 RF per tick. There is a bit of loss by doing this method, um, but I found that that was better than crafting a dimensional transceiver, which holy cow was a really expensive recipe. Like, dude. Okay, dude. Dude, 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 right? You need all these things just for one dimensional transceiver and then you need a second one. So that's cool. Let's just teleport home. Um, the other thing I did, uh, since we have now a nice surplus of power coming in, not surplus enough though, um, because I decided to upgrade something else. Uh, I went down here and I decided to get rid of, you heard it here first, folks, Whoa, this is where my, um, my, my, my void miners were. So my resource and uh, other void miner type uh, were. I cleared them out so that this area would be nice and empty. Obviously I have this big ugly wire running down here, but that's okay. That just uh, sticks to an M4 bus. And I upgraded to a tier three void miner controller, which hooray. And by the way, I'm focusing yellow lens uh, because yellow lens, if we take a look, uh, gets us more gold than average. And uh, basically, I used a lot of gold to make all this stuff because, like, all these uh, hardened structure blocks, the tier twos needed um, four vibrant alloys each. So, like, lots, lots of gold went into making this. We got really low. Um, so uh, this guy's running at around two and a half seconds, give or take, per item showing in. So, like, you'll see an item poof right in there within you know two seconds of, of looking in this chest. In theory, you could probably go ahead and like stop making a liar out of me. Like, yeah, right. Uh, and also, I stuck a capacitor here just so I could easily turn off the power input and see how much power draw is occurring. So, we're drawing around 3000 RF a tick um, to run this bad boy. And uh, what we should see here is items show up rather quickly and then get import bust. Might be happening too quickly to see. Let's do that. There we go. Piece of coal just showed up. And then, you know, pyrite, and then within three seconds. So it's a little less than three seconds is what it looks like to me uh, before it starts getting stuff. And then I've basically done import busing into this thing. So that should uh, get its channel in a moment and start sucking items in. And that's pretty cool. Uh, the one other thing I did uh, was up here where I have my processing of machines. This chest, we still export all our ores that are going to be sag milled and, and, and smelted and all that good stuff. Um, the one thing I changed though is I added an export bus here where I export items that don't need to be smelted after they're sag milled. So when that thing pulls up another quartz ore, diamond ore, charged or quartz, that kind of stuff, it just drops directly into this dude and then it gets sag milled. I threw some uh, dark steel balls in there. I haven't decided if I want to automate putting dark steel balls in there. It increases your yield by, you know, a decent amount, but uh, eh, I haven't fully decided what I want to do there yet. Oh, and uh, one more thing that I kicked off. I should have a pair of 4Ks. Nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get myself some more quartz glass. 
like 10 ish. Does that sound fair? I think that sounds like a good number. Um, and uh, get myself a couple more of these dudes because I decided that I want two more of these, please. Yay! That'll fill out this guy. Beautiful. Uh, so that's what I worked on between episodes. Lots and lots of waiting around. Uh, this thing still sits here. I completely got rid of the void resource miner. The main thing I needed a resource miner for was quartz. Um, and it, it was, yeah, we'll, we'll hook it back up when we need it again. Let's just put it that way. I don't know when or if we'll need it again, uh, but in the event that we need it again, I will hook it back up. So now I've got this nice big empty room uh, under which uh, I've got uh, this dude. Uh, which is cool and nice sized, and I should have enough room to put a resource miner if I decide I want it again. Nice. So, uh, all in all, things are cool. I'm uh, proud of the work that I did between episodes, and trust me, it was a lot of kind of just me mining out the area and, and waiting for auto-crafting, um, and, and waiting, waiting, there was lots of waiting. Like, it probably took at least an hour-ish to craft things. Oh, and I held on to some extra diamond ores, because remember, you need those for the void or minor controller, which I needed three more of uh, in order to get my these guys. So those diamond ores are just sitting there in case I decide I want to use them in the future. That's about it. So that's what I worked on between episodes. Today, uh, I think I'd like to work on something else that'll be cool. Um, I think what I'd like to do is finally shut down. So these oil generators are working in a way that basically means when power gets low, it kicks on, and when power gets high, it shuts off. Um, but this nifty little oil generator over here is great in that he will self-throttle himself and reduce the amount of fuel being used to, um, you know, attenuate to the amount of RF needed. Um, so small amounts of RF per tick will like trigger um, and, and that's kind of cool. So what I think I'd like to do, um, I originally planned to put that thing, I think I said it last episode, I'd put it over here. How about instead we put it in this nice centralized location that I've got. This can be my power generation area for the time being. Um, does not sound like a cool plan. And uh, what I could do is just have like some reactors and I could have my multi-block advanced generator thing in here. Um, and then we can run our power conduits either through P2P connectors for EU or not. Um, and we'll also run RF out of that basement area. And ideally, um, how are you getting in here? Oh, I see how you're getting in here. That's how you keep getting in. I'm like, why am I seeing monsters show up? I was really confused about that, and now I understand. Haha. Uh -huh. Mischief managed. Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah. Today, I'd like to clean up power gen and get to the point where we have, like, really good power gen. The other thing that I'm finding is we might be maxing out what our enhanced energy conduits can do. So, I might... I uh, want to get some vibrant alloys. Uh, how's my gold situation? 269. All right, cool. Um, that thing's been running for a little bit. What if we got 30 of those? That would be 80-ish wiring. Okay, that should be cool. Uh, we might need more, but we'll uh, go from there. Um, the other thing I might want to do is grab some wood pulp, because I know that's the thing I'm low on if I want... So I think I just need to do that. We'll get me some wood pulp, and that'll be cool. All right, so like I said, back in just a moment once I'm ready to relocate some stuff into this room. And I might want to think about rewiring this a little bit so that it's not just this big cable. I just kind of moved it for like, you know, temporary reasons. All right, so that should activate with the channel. Coming right off of there. That'll run into there, and then I'll get rid of that big ugly thing dropping down the roof. That's cool. And in fact, we don't need to see anything in here anymore. And that's excellent. Uh, the other thing I made was some Ender Energy conduits off camera. So that's exciting and neat. Um, so let's start thinking about basically what I'd like to have um, is maybe power gen back here, right? In, in the form of some kind of multi-block. Uh, and I really wish I could route my EU or my RF through P2P tunnels because that would be so cool. Um, the other thing I wouldn't mind having is maybe in the center-ish of this room, uh, which is probably around here. Maybe like a multi-block capacitor of some kind that holds large amounts of power. Um, but for now, it could probably just be the one, and then we'll bump it up to a higher tier in a little bit. Um, so maybe like right under this block, like where this cobblestone is, will be the vibrant capacitor's location. And then we can have energy cables kind of going all over the place. Um, so what we might have um, 
is power coming out the top of this machine. Does that make sense? Into here. And this will be the input side of the capacitor. And then we could have output kind of going everywhere else. Also, where'd my other wrench go? How do you think about the floor? <laughs> uh, so that might be cool, right? Um, and I really need to like make this area look nice. I'll probably do that off camera like I did the upstairs at some point ish um so then for power output um does this have to get me or can we like nix this whole like cable running all over the place thing that's ugly um we might want to do that so for that um so we could have out of curiosity right if i did that Could I just power these bad dudes? We'll see. We'll test it, and if it doesn't work, we'll just re-hook up this, right? But that might, in theory, be a cool way to go. We'll find out. Uh, also, don't forget, there's uh, we haven't had a need for it yet, but conduits, there are ME and dense ME conduits that can exist in the same block space as item and other conduits. So that's a thing. That's a very cool thing. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So with that, we might, so imagine like we'd want to run power like out in this direction. This could be an output face and this could be an output face and maybe off to the left as well could be an output face. We'll have to figure that out. Um, but that would be cool, right? Um, for now, like, how do we want this to run? The other thing we could have is like going down into the floorboards here. Because one thing we'll definitely want to do is start routing power out of this room or, or be prepared to at the very least, right? Um, so in fact, you might actually want to, to tap into down here-ish, wherever this is, right? Um, yeah, maybe you'll go straight down here. Like, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Does that sound cool to you guys? Yeah, that sounds nifty. Um, and at the very least, we can run power to this thing. Right? So just here. Cool. That works. Nice. And then maybe, you know, helping to route along this way. So what if we routed down here? Are you no longer needed? You're no longer needed. Cool, that was a temporary router hookup for when I had excess of these dudes sitting around. But now that I no longer have access to those dudes, that's cool. So this actually might be a good way to go. I'll route my power this way. Luckily, these aren't so hard to craft anymore. Uh, so that would be power coming up here. So instead of power coming down into my base, my power will go up through my base. Neat. Now, can I use these to upgrade to an enhanced and Whoa. I get eight of these? Does that make sense? That's kind of cool. Not sure if that recipe is right or not, but it feels good to me, right? So uh, what we could do, so let's make sure that our wrench is only showing energy conduits, and then we'll make sure um, that we are routing energy appropriately around down here. So the nice thing about this is you can swap out energy conduits in this method. I can't really get back there too well. Having some kind of uh, ability to sneak behind here is probably a good idea anyway. Now, in theory, once I connect all this, cool, we shouldn't need this line anymore from here on out, because this whole line goes all the way over to here, and that's no longer needed. 
So this will temporarily kill this thing, but that's okay. And it'll also kind of kill a lot of other stuff, but that's okay too. So what's the recipe here? So this just basically replaces... Okay, that's interesting that you get eight of these though. That's weird. Uh, but okay, it just saves me on vibrant alloys. I'll take it. All right, so with that in mind, um, let's move this thing and maybe make it a little bit better. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So it's not like a plan. So step one, let's move this guy. So we're going to get rid of this conduit uh, as well as this one goes to those guys. So we'll keep this all up and running for the time being. Um, but we'll eventually want to clean up all of this dire wire. Um, and yes, that's exactly what it is. Large, copious amounts of dire wire. I'm aware of that. So I'm just going to break this whole multi-block. Will I lose a little bit of uh, ethanol? Yes, one bucket's worth of ethanol. I'm not going to lose sleep over, over that. And then uh, as a result, we also no longer need... So this is the Great Dire Base Cleanup Attempt. Sort of. Um, and let's set you guys to active with signal, active with signal, active with signal. Nice, cool. So we'll figure out how to integrate this stuff at some point. Uh, we might wind up routing fluids through our Applied Energistic system because there are P2P fluid channels. So that might be cool. Um, for now, let's go up here and get a couple more turbines. Uh, now, can I hold plutonium? I probably can't. Uh, so let's get some manual and turbines. You know what I did do off camera that I didn't mention yet? Is I hooked up a hopper here and got myself a bunch of manualin, which, hooray, conveniently enough, I can do that. Nice. That should be cool. You turn off for a sec. Hey. Beat it. Out of range. Come on now. Now hopefully you guys are not going to be too annoying for me. And you didn't steal too much liquid. So that's almost cooled. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, that is awesome. And how much manulin is left in here? Just a little bit. We'll let that convert via ingots. And we'll come back for those in a minute. So if I wanted more manual and turbines, um, let's say three more. So I'm going to need 24 more of these. Cool. And then that can become that, which is three more of these. Nice. Uh, and then we're going to need uh, redstone iron wiring, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. Yeah, I could use a little bit more. Let's get some more sticks. And then we'll do um, one set of you, one set of you, and a handful of these. I didn't really math out how much I need, but then uh, I do need three pellets of RTG fuel. So for that, we'll definitely want to... I'm not sure if I can hold plutonium or not. Uh, I kind of forget. Hey. Oh, right, I didn't put on... Oh, I was so close, I almost made it. <laughs> Things happen. Dire derp. And then life goes on. Uh, so yeah, today we learned can't hold plutonium. Ta-da. Uh, let's put this armor on now. Yay, and now we can hold plutonium. Sweet. Uh, let's put away... You know what, I can just do this. Uh, and this. Now I think pellets of RTG fuel um, might not be too bad to hold. I'm going to test that real quick. But for now, let's get our plutonium. 
And um, I don't think you can actually use the pellets for anything, right? Aside from making plutonium. Like that's the only thing the pellets are used for, right? So boom, we've got that. Uh, and then this can be used for mox fuel or pellets as R2G fuel. I've been getting a lot of comments suggesting that I do mox fuel. Uh, I, I don't feel it's worth it. Um, your mileage may vary. Cool. I'm going to get about 16 blocks ground up here. Let's do eight at a time. This thing's nice and fast now, and I love it. Um, so actually, I need nine of these if I want. Right? Did I math that correctly? No, I do need 18. OK. Man, you need a lot of iron for this, don't you? I wonder if these dense iron plates are tough by way of UU matter. They shouldn't be too bad. I might scan one just for the heck of it, but not right now. What I should do is scan a pellet of... Yeah, but eh, we'll see. So RTG fuel. U and U times three, sweet. And now I should be able to make a manual and turbine. I did want to check if I uh, take damage from doing this. Yep, you do. Ow. Just a little bit, but you do. Boom, nice. So now we've got six manual and turbines, which means this thing can produce a total of 3,000 RF a tick, which is cool. So let's go build this down here. Good deal. So we'll kind of, um, you know, we'll stick our manual and turbines on the back of there. We'll have our gas turbine controller maybe on the front. Uh, fluid intake valve, that's where we're going to put fluid into the system. How's here sound? Uh, we'll have the flux generator here. That's where I said that should be connected to, and you can see it's already connected. Nice. Um, then we need our uh, gas mix, high voltage, and fluid air controller, right? So you, that makes this a valid multi-form. Um, high voltage emitter, we could probably put that like here. Um, and then the goal would be to eventually have um, more turbines on this dude. So he doesn't look great. Um, I could probably have done a little better job with him if I'm being 100% honest, but you know what I could do is just, I didn't actually count if this will work, but nice. I had a feeling it would. How cool is that, huh? Nice. So six turbines, 3,000 RF a tick maximum. More turbines equals more RF a tick. Around 500 per turbine uh, is what you're looking at there. And that should be cool. Lots of you guys wanted to see me clean up my base. So uh, it's happening. Cool. So let's move um, you for the time being. And we'll pick up our power cell as well. Hey, wrong thing here. So this is the point where my base will kind of shut down and that's okay. Um, and we'll just have to clean it up in the opposite direction. So we're gonna have to run power up and deal with it. So this thing's gonna shut down pretty quickly, I would imagine. Uh, once internal capacitors die off, and that's okay. So what I'll do is I'll stick my vibrant capacitor bank here. We will configure you for um, power goes in, out, 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 and out. Cool. So this should be the input side. Nice. Beautiful. And uh, to help with this for the time being, we'll put our power cell up top here, and this thing should start dumping power into this dude at a reasonable rate. Uh, I'm also, just to make sure that this thing is uh, a little bit cool, do I still have access to this guy for the time being? I do. I don't know how long this will last. There, off, which means this thing should basically be not outputting any power at all. So we're getting the 4,000-ish RF a tick income, which is what I would expect to see. Nice, cool. All right, so that's good. Um, so that's kind of ish step one. Um, 
I don't know when my uh, thing's gonna die up there, but let's uh, let's get to cleaning this up. So now we want to run our conduits upstairs. So I'm gonna run some of these conduits off camera, and we'll be back in a minute. Boy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The dye wire is real in this space. Holy cow! Ah, uh, wow. I've 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 dye wired up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we will eventually relocate to somewhere and we will clean up all this wiring. But like, this is like one of my worst cases of organic growth to the point where it's like, I'm, I'm needing to replace all my dye wire. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh this was bad. This was bad. Uh, technically, these don't need to be replaced, but why not? Um, you guys can be just connected directly into there. That should be cool. Um, just, just getting everything kind of replaced. You guys may have emptied out your empowered oil buckets, maybe not. Um, so technically, you, I don't know where that power is going to go, but it's going somewhere. And that's cool. Um, let's, so that kind of cleared up this side of the base, right? And that's all going out the side. Um, as for power coming over to here, uh, I'd like to vanquish all this wiring that's horrible and ugly um and to do that i think all i need to do would be um to run power up here so this is all kind of just doing this right so if i got rid of this dude instead did you 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 you, you, and you. That should be cool. Nice. And technically, you're not even needed right there anymore. Well, you might be. Because um, what I'll probably want to do... Oh, and these two. Do, 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 uh, is run this up and somehow power this dude. So maybe not this one. Give me that want it um you could get powered currently you're coming in the top huh only i could clean up dire wire by making worse dire wire only i Good, we've got more. I made a bunch more of this stuff. I mean, I've, I've, I must have replaced a silly number of things. Oh, right, you're not actually connected to anything. That's right. You need to show up down here. And you could probably tag along. Would you connect neatly? No, because I need you to be that. This stuff makes a mess, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. Um, could you connect right here? That should be doable. And ideally, I wouldn't want you connecting to that power dude. So let's do that. Sweet. Nice. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like everything about that. Cool. So that runs up to there, and that's a power output. And now our thing should be on again. Beautiful. Cool. So that is the last wire that was connected to this. Yay, yeah, thunderstorms. Which means that a lot of this shouldn't be needed anymore. So the only other thing running over here is this dude and these guys. Right? Um, and this probably leads off to my forestry farm and my rubber tree farm not the end of the world. I can rerun that cabling in a minute. Um, that we might want to decide to run. Let's dig back here. I did a lot of this off camera. So let's do the rest off camera too. Anybody remember the morph mod? This is a time when the morph mod would serve me well. Being able to morph into a bat and just fly through these one block spaces. Oh, I miss it so much. So much, guys. 
But upgrading everything to this tier of conduiting will actually be pretty beneficial to me. No tree tap. Okay, well that's cool. Um, where am I? And what am I doing? Uh, I assume that I'm pretty close to getting this repowered. Good. I don't know if you were low on power, but you're back up to full now. Dirt. Fill back in, please. Nice. Alright, let's uh, clean up inventory for a sec. Cool. Alright, so the next... Uh, we're going to need a few more of these. Do we, uh, do, we, do we... Okay, more vibrant. Not a problem. I've been making about 30 at a time. It seems to be a nice round number. Uh, we just need to run to our tree farm over there, and then we'll be back up and running in this area. So with that said... This guy doesn't have power. Not that he's terribly important, but um, remember, you need I needed him for uh, triple compressed cobble, which, by the way, um, totally did a great job using some of that when I made more stuff. Cool. So that means that you should no longer be needed. Sweet. That's awesome. And that eliminates these lines, which we had two of, remember, because one was generating power and one was doing other stuff. Now you're going up to, no, I'll leave this for the time being, because you're going up there and I'm getting low on this power cable stuff. Um, can I use you yet for a couple things? Not yet, still making the vibrance. Back in a minute. All right, this thing's back up and running. Nice. Uh, which is good news. And that is cool. Uh, all right, so the last thing I want to do here, and you may still be crafting my P2P tunnel, but hopefully... Yep, still crafting the last one. But let's get our P2P tunnel this doohickey. Um, I should be able to set up P2P stuff that does this. So where's my fluid intake valve? That might want to be... Well, you know what? Do I have... I do. You're actually close. So let's do this. Let's put the fluid intake valve here. Right. Fluid intake valve, and then this can be a manual and turbine. Um, what I wouldn't mind doing is running some cabling. By the way, I think I made about a stack. I did. Nice. Uh, you can go away for the time being. I eventually probably want to upgrade all of this stuff to smart, but let's have a P2P tunnel here. Okay, and now how close am I to some conduiting over here? Uh, which, by the way, are you guys all cleared out now? Cool. This does still need to run down here because this stuff actually powers some of the machines off in that direction, but I'm gonna be clearing away all three of these machines. I might as well do it now. Cool. Nine, good. Put them away. Um, do I have any in this general direction? I do have this one, which I could tap into, though that's heavily used for cabling. You could probably go off, you know what I'm going to do is run off this direction here. Because you're going to be used for something later down the line anyway in this direction, so... And yes, I know, dire wire. It's the worst, but I'll, uh, we'll manage it at some point. No, stop making messes. Sweet. So what if we put a P2P tunnel here, and if we had some pressurized fluid conduit, will that be good enough to, yes, make it that, cool. And then we're going to shift right click you, copy to memory card, right? Yep, 
Yes, and you are stored with your P2P tunnel. So I'm gonna put this here and link this. So now that fluid's going in there. Notice that this fluid is not going anywhere. Um, it's, it's not got a destination yet, which is why it says unlink. However, if I come over to here and I load the device configuration and then do this and this, maybe, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, work, work, work. Device online linked output side, this should totally Why are you not working? This actually should really be working, and it's totally not, and that's a bummer. Uh, let me troubleshoot, be right back. All right, guys, I tested this in a single player world. I don't know why it's happening, but it looks like it just won't output to the to this thing. So let's see, hold on, uh, you can go away. If I put just a tank here, this should work, or at least it worked in my single player world. Empowered oil. Nice. That's what I want to see. Uh, and then just set the down to extract. And then you should be getting empowered oil, which should be helping to power this dude, uh, who was until recently having a lot of trouble with his power output. Haha. <laughs> that should be fixed now. Cool. Nice. So you're producing power, currently using 2.4 millibuckets per tick. But soon, uh, ideally, hopefully soon, uh, this thing will, so this is not running at the moment. So this thing should stabilize his power use in a moment. Good, we're getting a net gain. That's what I wanted to see. Beautiful. Uh, and we might even be able to make a few more turbines if we really wanted to, just to make this thing produce even more power. But that is the awesomeness of P2P. I like it. Uh, you can come with me, I don't need you anymore per se. And that's a cleaned up bit of wiring. Uh, not perfect by any stretch. Uh, the other thing we could do if we wanted to would be to tap into our P2P with these guys. And basically what I could have is, right, like you guys are just producing tons of this stuff, right? And this thing's gonna, you know, fill up eventually. What will happen is this will fill up completely. And then this will fill up completely and back stuff again. Um, so soon that should happen. Probably once these pressurized fluid conduits kind of fill up themselves as well. We'll see. Um, I'll keep an eye on this. And then uh, we'll come back next episode. So that's not like a plan. And uh, continue with cleaning up the base a little bit. Um, I, I obviously made a big mess of the, the walls and the floor. And I'm going to do my best to, to tidy some things up a little bit so that it's not a horribly atrocious mess. No promises on it being beautiful. Um, why is there a creeper chilling here? I couldn't tell you. Ah, that's why. <laughs> cool. Did you back stuff yet at all, perhaps, by chance? Not yet. Hopefully you're not voiding buckets of oil, because that would be uncool of you, P2P tunnel. You're not, you're not, you're not stupid, right, P2P tunnel? You're not, you're not gonna void buckets, because that would really annoy me. One way to find out. <laughs> Just wanna test this before we wrap up the episode, because if this is a problem, I'm going to be angry. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, you're actually uh, using up a decent amount of buckets there, aren't you? Cool. Um, what if we stopped the extract of liquid? So that should back stuff, and then we should very quickly see this dude back stuffing his liquids. Well, I said very quickly, but you know, now we've got you know some stuff being used. Come back in a minute once I confirm that this doesn't actually like lose this liquid somehow. Yes, good. It is not voiding it um, or anything because that would be annoying. Cool. It does seem to be working pretty smoothly. Um, just wanted to be sure of that. We will let you run again. Nice. Cool. All right, for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know the deal. Take it easy.